Dear Young Innovators, I'm very happy to be with you at this year's European Young Innovators Festival. All of you in this room, well, you have something in common. An innovation mind. You hold a part of the future in your hands and, of course, the power to make that future better. We saw it at the COP26. Giant challenges. But thanks to your energy, your ideas, your creativity, we can deal with them. Because too many of the most pressing issues that our world is facing, well, innovation is the answer. And that is why we are investing in innovation. Over the years, the Commission has put in place programs and policies to give Europe's innovators, you, the means that you need in order to take your ideas to the market and to give those ideas a chance to become a solid business, both at home and worldwide. Innovation starts early, way before the first prototypes are even developed. It starts with giving you the skills, education needed to develop future ideas. And it's especially true for digital skills, which has become central in almost all innovations today. And that is why we work to reach a double target. We want 80% of all adults to have basic digital skills by 2030, and 20 million ICT specialists and of course more women taking the jobs. We also expanded the Erasmus Plus program with a digital opportunity traineeship. It will allow young people to develop specialized digital skills through work placements. Once innovative ideas and projects exist, we also have a role to play to make them thrive. And this is typical for a program like Horizon Europe. With this 95.5 billion budget, for research and innovation, the greatest ideas can find the way from the lab to the shop shelves. And it happens that sometimes the technologies that most need funding, like game-changing solutions to fight climate change, for instance, they are too risky for private investors alone. And for this, we created the European Innovation Council. The idea is to create a pull factor. We put the first coins on the table so that private investors can then join the table. Already in the three years that the pilot has been running, this European Innovation Council has supported more than five and a half, half thousand businesses. And for every euro it has invested in these companies, private follow-up investment have added three more. I encourage those of you to set the path of tech-driven entrepreneurship to consider the European Innovation Council as one potential source of finance. Finally, it takes courage to believe in your ideas and to launch your own business. We want to do all we can to ensure that the most promising and strategic startups stay and flourish in Europe. And this is why we launched the European Startup Nation Standard, a set of the best practices to support entrepreneurs all along your journey and accelerate the growth of startups and innovative small and medium-sized companies with all the conditions to scale to be even bigger. Dear all, as some of you may know, 2020 will be the European Year of Youth. This means that all, act, all across the board, in the European Parliament, Member States, regional, local authorities, we will encourage all young people, especially those, of course, in difficult situations, those from rural or remote areas, to become active citizens of the world that you live in. Because we need you. We need your vision, engagement and participation to build a better future. One that's greener, more connected. And above all, one where everyone feels at home. I wish you a lot of success in your great adventures. Thank you.